Hey, my name is Joe Simon, and I'm a director DP out of Austin, Texas. My company, The Delivery Men, just finished a short film called Low Tide. I've been creating content for about 16 years now, and one thing that always rings true is you have to use the right product to help tell your story. And in this case, it was the Alexa Mini from Lens Pro to Go. When that Pelican case arrived and I opened it up, there was a blow pop in there for me, which is very exciting because everybody loves candy. And I also noticed that they had really beautiful foam inserts that kept everything just perfect and happy inside that Pelican case. It was secure and safe, and it was very efficiently in one piece of luggage, which is easy when you have to travel. The next thing was pulling the camera out and setting it up. This is the first time I got to use the Alexa Mini, so it took a moment to get everything together, but as soon as I turned it on, I felt right at home. It was as if I had been using this camera for years. The menu systems are very simple, they're easy to use, and it's just intuitive. You expect to go to change your frame rate, it's as easy as you press a button, you change your frame rate. It's a very quick camera to learn. I spent about 10 minutes and that was all I needed and I was ready to go out and shoot. This is a camera you can count on. It's a workhorse camera. I knew it wouldn't have a problem in the field. The Alexa Mini comes with a great setup. It has the wooden camera cage, which has a ton of mounts all over it, as well as a great handle and power distribution box. It also comes with the A-Box, which is a great breakout device for your XLRs. So why choose the Alexa Mini? It's a very small camera. It comes in a small package. It allows you to get into places that a bigger camera would not allow you to get into. The other reason is it has amazing dynamic range, amazing skin tone quality, and the grain on this camera looks very fine. It's more filmic and not like noisy grain you see on other cameras. Being able to shoot straight to ProRes, in a 12-bit codec allows you to go right and start editing immediately or not transferring or having to reconvert anything. If you're doing VFX heavy work, I'd probably go with a RED camera. Or if you're doing a lot of lighting setups where you have a lot more control in the studio environment, you might want to go with a RED. But with the Alexa, it's a lot more flattering when you're in those natural light environments. Lens Pro to Go is an amazing rental company. You know, they allow you to rent items that you just are not going to be able to purchase. Nowadays, there's so many cameras on the market, so many lenses on the market, and each of these tools are right for a certain type of job. And you need to think about that for whatever you're gonna rent from LensPro to go. Bottom line, it comes down to what serves your story. What are the tools you need to create the story that you want to create? So for me, it's going to LensPro to go's website and saying, you know, what's the right tool for the job? What do I need to rent for this project? And in this case, we wanted the Alexa Mini for that story. This was the right tool for the job. To watch the film, go to lowtidefilm.com. To see more behind the scenes content from Low Tide, go to the Academy of Storytellers and sign up.